Today, I will share with you a very important component of the power system: the high voltage vacuum circuit breaker. This device in our daily lives and industrial production plays a crucial role. Next, I will mainly introduce the characteristics of high voltage vacuum circuit breakers, the structural composition of the vacuum interrupter, and its working principle. Before understanding the vacuum circuit breaker, let's learn about the concept of vacuum. Vacuum in our daily lives actually has many applications, such as vacuum insulation, vacuum preservation, vacuum dust removal, etc. Here, vacuum refers to a gas state where the pressure is much lower than one standard atmosphere. A vacuum circuit breaker is a type of circuit breaker that uses vacuum. As the arc extinguishing and insulating medium, inside the vacuum container, it can perform the switching on and off of current. The vacuum degree of an object is expressed by the absolute pressure value of the gas. The lower the absolute pressure value, the higher the vacuum degree. The vacuum degree of a vacuum circuit breaker generally generally needs to be between. 1.33 by the negative seventh power of 10, and 1.33 by negative cube of 10 pascal. Vacuum circuit breakers have many significant adv advantages. The contact gap is small, so the required operating mechanism power is low. The overall size and weight are correspondingly reduced. The noise during operation is low. And it does not pollute the environment. It has strong braking capacity, can handle large currents, and has a short arc extinguishing time, many braking times, and a long service life. In addition, the dielectric strength of the vacuum circuit breaker recovers quickly, making it suitable for frequent operations and multiple reclosing. Since vacuum does not have aging issues, the maintenance workload is small. It does not use oil, and during the breaking process, no high voltage is generated. Therefore, there is no risk of fire or explosion. The contact part is completely sealed, unaffected by external environmental conditions, working reliably with stable switching performance. However, vacuum circuit breakers also face some challenges. For example, when breaking inductive or capacitive loads, over voltage may occur. The contact structure uses a butt type design. The operating mechanism uses springs, which can easily cause closing bounds and opening rebound. Moreover, to ensure the vacuum degree of the interrupter. The sealing process and manufacturing process requirements are really high, which also leads to increased costs. Next, let's look at the basic structure of the vacuum circuit breaker. It mainly consists of the vacuum interrupter, the support frame, and the operating mechanism, three parts as a whole. The vacuum interrupter is the core of the entire device. It determines the breaking. Conducting and insulating performance of the circuit breaker. Let's mainly understand the composition of the interrupter. It mainly consists of the insulating shell, moving and stationary contacts, shielding cover, and bellows. The insulating shell is both the vacuum container and the insulator between the contacts. Its role is to support the moving and stationary contacts and shielding cover and other metal parts. And to ensure the high vacuum inside the interrupter, contacts are the key components for switching the current. The moving and the stationary contacts are respectively welded to the moving and the stationary conductive rods, sealed it with bellows. The contacts use a butt-type structure. There are three types: flat contacts, transverse magne magnetic field contacts. And longitudinal magnetic field contacts. The common feature of these contacts is using magnetic field forces 
to quickly move the vacuum arc, preventing hot spots on the contacts that require long cooling times. The shielding cover is divided into the main shielding cover, the bellows shielding cover, and the equalizing shielding cover. Their functions are, firstly, preventing a large amount of metal vapor and metal particles generated during arcing from spraying. Secondly, improving the uniform distribution of the electric field inside the interrupter. Thirdly, absorbing arc energy, cooling it down and speeding up the recovery of the dielectric strength of the gap after the arc is extinguished. The bellows ensure that the moving contact does not destroy the vacuum seal when moving. In the vacuum interrupter, it is the most easily damaged component. The fatigue life of the metal determines the me mechanical life of the vacuum interrupter. Vacuum circuit breakers come in various types, divided into outdoor and indoor types. Comparatively, the requirements for external insulation sealing, and other performances of outdoor circuit breakers are higher. According to the arrangement of the vacuum in the Raptor, vacuum circuit breakers can be divided into floor-mounted and cantilever types. Outdoor vacuum circuit breakers generally use a floor-mounted structure. Finally, let's understand the operation process of vacuum circuit breakers. It includes three stages energy storage, closing, and opening. Energy storage can be done by motor or manually. Using the reduction and transmission system, the closing spring is stretched for energy storage, held by the closing latch. After stor energy storage is completed, the energy storage indicator will display energy stored. During closing, the closing coil is energized to release the latch using the spring energy to achieve closing. At the same time, the closing spring uses the released energy to store energy for the opening spring. The opening process is similar to the closing process. After the opening coil is energized, the opening latch releases. The opening spring makes the circuit breaker open. The closing and opening indicator indicates opening. Okay. Today's lesson ends here.